face. Maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Throwing again, Bridgewater on second and 10. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. KJ Hamler, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Brings up third down and 10. To the air again with Bridgewater. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. Bridgewater. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The all-pro Von Miller there on the tackle. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Back to throw now on second and 10. Going for the deep ball. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. It's third down and 10 yards to go. On the run, it's Robinson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. To him on first down. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Robinson, the ball Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Third down, Robinson. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Doug Marone has made the call. His guys are going for it. They'll run for it with Robinson. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. 
We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Colin Johnson there, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. this will even nope it doesn't even get there well short and this score will stay right where it is 31 Broncos nothing So they'll come away with nothing here. A disappointing result even on a day like this. And as a kicker in the rain, you've got to slow things down a little bit. Give your holder an extra half second to make sure everything's secure. And here, he might have rushed this one a little, and it winds up no good. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. He was trying to find Noah Fant, the tight end, but it's going to be second down. On second down, Bridgewater again. Oh, nearly picked. That may be lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. One last shot now for Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for our visitors, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Houston to take on the...